Mr. Luther? Mr. Luther? Mr. Luther? You're such a promising young talent. I'd hate to see an opportunity like this vanish, like the keyhole on this wall here. Threatening me, Mr. Luther, isn't going to make Clark magically reappear. All decisions have consequences. Clark chose to run away from his. You gonna run away from yours too, Miss Sullivan? Miss Sullivan, what a nice surprise. And have you brought me an addendum to your report on Clark Kent? Uh, it's my final article for the Daily Planet. I'm turning in my resignation today. Oh. Our agreement is terminated. I'm sorry, but Clark's friendship just means too much to me. I can't say it's unexpected, but it will be disappointing. Sorry, Mr. Luther. I guess some people are just better at leading double lives than others. You misunderstand me, Miss Sullivan. I'm not the one who's going to be disappointed. That'll be your father. What does he have to do with any of this? I guess he wanted to surprise you. Your father just made a sizable down payment on a new house overlooking the golf course. <laughs> My dad still hasn't paid off the new water heater. I seriously doubt he's moving us to Brat Flat. Well, it must be his way of celebrating his new promotion. When I rewarded him for his hard work and his dedication to Luther Corp, he was just brimming with pride. He... Oh, could he be devastated if he suddenly found himself unemployed. You can't do this, Dan. Yes, I can. But I won't, which is why I think we are going to enjoy a long and fruitful partnership, Miss Sullivan. It wasn't very long. Miss Sullivan, you look a bit peaked. Well, I suppose a steady diet of truth can wear on a person. Did you order Morgan Edge to kill your parents? Of course I did, for their life insurance. I needed that money to start my company. I'm sorry you asked me that question, Miss Sullivan. That's very dangerous information for you to have. Why did you ask me that? Of course I did, for their life insurance. I have your entire confession recorded on my voicemail, and the only person that has the password is me. So if I were you, I would reconsider my father's employment situation. I'm impressed, but unfortunately, I don't respond to blackmail. Please enter your security code now. You have one new message. Hello, Miss Sullivan. It's only me. Um, oh, no need to look for that conversation we had earlier. That's gone. And uh, oh, that's it. No need to call back. You have no more messages. Glitch, Miss Sullivan? I know a very capable computer technician who might have some familiarity with your setup. How could I be so idiotic? You donate the computers and then send your experts in to set them up. Yeah, philanthropy. I've always prided myself on that. What about tampering with a high school student's personal computer? I think you'll find your personal computer is on loan to the school as the uh, property of the Luther Corp Foundation. You are so low, you're subterranean. You know, Clark's files aren't even on this hard drive. Do you really think I'd be that stupid? My interest doesn't end with Clark Kent. I'm intrigued by your whole body of work. I warn you, if I ever catch you investigating a member of my family again, a computer glitch will be the least of your problems. 